global public that Filipino engineers and providers of Filipino products and engineering services are comparable or better than global standards. In the Philippines, this assurance is nationally provided through professional licensing and examinations to determine that the potential practitioner, practitioners have capabilities beyond the minimum acceptable qualifications. Applicants for the examinations must be graduates of accredited programs. And so, what is the problem? How would a client outside the Philippines know that a Filipino engineer who graduated, graduated from an accredited program in the Philippines has capabilities equivalent to or better than those of engineers graduating from the client country or graduating from another supplier country. We need to position Filipino engineers to be recognized as globally competitive. This is lesson number two. Engineering is a global profession. Third, Engineering is a team-oriented profession. Modern engineering would not be possible without the central role of teams. Engineering projects typically require concerted effort of many engineers from several disciplines and others outside the engineering disciplines. Effective teams are necessary for success in delivery of engineering products systems and services. Team members are expected to work collaboratively. Remember the long hours you spent with your classmates performing laboratory experiments together. And the group design projects with numerous technical constraints, industry standards, in ergonomics, and challenges in human interaction. I read in the newspaper that on March 18, 2010, the UP Dilliman Engineering Library II inaugurated a new facility called the Learning Commons. This is a modern, world-class facility for easy access to online databases using many fast computers. It has collaborative workstations for group learning and group research. You have gained valuable team and group learning experiences. They have helped you understand the importance of teams in engineering. So that's lesson three. Engineering is a team-oriented profession. Number four, engineering technologies are fast changing and growing sophistication. You probably noticed that between your freshman year and your fifth year, or your year of graduation, that a number of new technologies entered the mainstream of your engineering specialty. Perhaps these newer technologies have supplanted those that you have studied. This is the nature of our fast changing profession. Engineering fields have an underlying base of technology, science, mathematics. The best preparation for this certainty of change and innovation is a fundamental engineering education that is deeply rooted in science, mathematics, social sciences, and humanities to better understand the impact of technology on society and on humanity itself. This is what you receive from the University of the Philippines. Our understanding of the underlying science and mathematics will enable us to innovate and to improve the new technologies. More exciting is the possibility that some of you 
UP College of Engineering Centennial graduates will create newer revolutionary technologies and new industries. This basic preparation must be deepened and continued over a career long period. In your first few years after your baccalaureate degree, consider the possibility of graduate education. Take short courses. Take continuing education classes. Develop lifelong learning strategies as part of your working career. So lesson four is that engineering deals with fast-changing technologies and the profession demands that engineers need to develop continuous learning strategies throughout their careers. Okay. Social networking at the human interaction level will help you in your career. I do not mean electronic networks such as Facebook. I mean a physical face-to-face -face organization. You have probably joined some groups during the student days. Student branches of engineering professional societies, the math club, the physics club, music club, student council, sororities, fraternities, and others. There are numerous opportunities for developing leadership skills, teamwork skills, and human relations skills from these activities. As students, you have benefited from the groups for support for many aspects of your student life. As you move from campus to the workplace, the social networking shifts from campus networking to alumni networking, supporting your career. In my case, as a student, I joined one of the college fraternities, the Bell Epsilon Fraternity. I am proud to note that the Beta Epsilon Fraternity resident members and alumni have participated in many relief activities of disasters such as floods, typhoons, earthquakes, Pinatubo, and other calamities. It has raised funds for student scholarships, endowed chairs and professorships, computers for libraries, audiovisual equipment, buildings, and other landmarks of campus. The bonding that occurs among the student members eventually extends to alumni generations in the social network. My point in mentioning this is that these activities and experiences will enable you, if you belong to one of these tightening social networks, and they will prove to be very valuable in your career.